All right, real quick, man. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. Uh, this is a quick post fight reaction from uh, Lawrence Okola versus uh, Yavis Nugabu. And uh, <clears throat> salute to uh, Lawrence Okola. You know, he got the victory. He, I guess he's now the, the European uh, cruiserweight champion. Um, all right, now. I'm going to be all the way honest with y'all, man. This is no disrespect to uh, Lawrence Okola, but. Even the fans have been booing this guy for a while, you know. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of people just don't like this guy fighting style. You know, they 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 complain about his excessive holding, you know. But uh, that's just the way he fights, you know. Evidently, you know, uh, that's just the way he fights. Uh, he doesn't like for nobody to get inside. As soon as you get inside on him, he he starts to uh, hold, and uh, when he holds. You know, he got like a a dirty little, you know, little inside little game with it. That's his inside game is basically his holding. And when he holds, he's gonna hit while he's holding anywhere. He he's gonna get you in the headlock, push your head down. Or you could be uh he could be behind you. Anywhere you open that he's gonna hit you at behind the head, uh kidney shot, all that. Wherever he's gonna he gonna pap you at. But the thing is, is is that you know, nobody so far that I pretty much seen, I haven't seen nobody figure out how to keep this guy at range and, and without, you know, uh, fighting uh, without without holding when you when you get in the inside. You, you, he's gonna have to get somebody that's that's real rough and rugged that's gonna really really be able to bully him because he's he's very physically strong in the inside. You can tell, and uh, the guy the guy in the gobble who he was uh, his opponent who he was up against. Um, the Gabba was a champion, I believe. So, yeah, he he was just he he got fatigued. He wasn't even able to really just hold this uh his physical ground, you know, from the beginning. You know, uh, you could tell Lawrence O'Coley was the stronger guy, even though the other guy looked like he was the the bigger, stronger man. I mean, the stronger man, short like physique wise, but Lawrence O'Coley was the uh, the stronger guy. He was able to impose his size. His height leverage on on uh, Nugabu, and in the clinch, he, you know, he would just lean on him. He would just wear him down and get him tired. And uh, Nugabu didn't do anything different to, to stop him from doing it. But the thing is, Nugabu was just coming forward. You know, uh, he started to move his head after he was getting blistered with left left uh, lead left hooks and uh, straight right hands. You know, he was uh, starting to move his head, but he was just coming forward with just. With the high guard, not even really using the jab at first, he you know he started incorporating all this stuff in the second half of the fight. Well, the 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 early, the late first half of the fight, because um, <clears throat> this fight didn't last that long. I think it lasted on the seventh round. But uh, yeah, O'Corley, man, he's a hard guy to watch. Man, he's very hard to watch. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult for him to fight outside of the UK. If he goes to America fighting like that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for him to uh, be. He, he's gonna have to fight because they're not gonna let him hold excessively like that. You know, this guy may be clinched. He might be held about in each round. The dude might have held about ten to twelve times in each round. You know, it's it's kind of hard to watch. Well, like I said, watch him with his fighting style. But when he lets his hands go, he he does you know crack these guys with some good shots, and um. He was starting to pierce, pierce through the guard of Lugambu, you know, and uh, landed some good body shots as well on Lugambu too, you know, and while he was coming in, you know, pretty decent from the outside. I, I got to say he has gotten a little better with his head movement and, and being able to box off the back foot a little bit more. But like I said, uh, he's going to have to learn how to stop all that holding, man, you know. They've been complaining about this for a couple of years now that I know of. And uh But then again you're gonna have to get somebody that's gonna be able to stop him from holding. You know, get him in there with somebody that's gonna uh that's gonna let him do all that holding and, and uh then see what's up, it's gonna make him fight. But uh he was he still opens up a little wide and get caught with with hooks. Nogaba was landing some decent uh left and right hooks on him. But uh, he just wasn't able to get no leverage off his shots because O'Coley was uh, holding and leaning on him. 
And uh, you could just tell by like the third round, he was kind of juicing out, gassing out, you know, and um, getting tired. And um, eventually, you know, he started uh, opening up a little bit and he was getting caught with, with more shots. He was still fighting back, catching Okoli with shots as well, but you know, his shots didn't really have that much steam on it. You know, even in the clinch, you could tell it just didn't have that much steam on it. You know, Okoli, and then, you know, um, Okoli opens up and, and, and lands like a one-two on him and, and pretty much give him the stanky leg and gets him out of there. And, uh, well, actually, the dude, Nugambo didn't even land and hit the canvas. He didn't even hit the canvas. So as soon as he got the stanky leg and took like three steps back, the ref came in and stopped the fight. So, uh, I hope we don't get this all night, you know, uh, especially at the main event. You know, I want to see uh, these guys be able to go to war. I don't want to see no no early stoppage or unfair stoppage or whatever the case may be because this is, uh, this is, this is, well, I ain't going to say the last fight. The last fight uh, was a legit stoppage, but this one wasn't really legit. You know, the guy didn't even hit the canvas, so. But uh, whatever, whatever, man. But it's gonna be interesting to see what's next for Lawrence so Coley. Uh, I, I want to see him end up with somebody that's gonna make him fight. And that's that's gonna not let him do all that holding. You know, I think that's his uh, bread and butter. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's gonna maintain undefeated alone once he can get in there with somebody that's gonna uh be able to keep him from doing all that clinching. And you get him in there with a ref that's going to stop all that holding. I thought he should have got some points taken away as well with all that uh, excessive holding he was doing. But, you know, salute to him for getting the victory. He is now the, uh, the European, uh, the European uh, champion. So, cruiserweight champion, so to say. So, yeah. But, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. So he's improved a little bit, but uh, like I say, the holding, it's hard, the, the fighting style, man. The fighting style is hard to watch. Um, I know he's going to get ridiculed because they was already doing them, you know. So just waiting to hear what the UK people have to say about this, about this uh, his performance, you know. He normally gets a lot of backlash, but uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. But salute to him for getting the victory again. This your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.